I believe firmly in the ancient tradition that the world is a living being and the world is a spiritual being of which we are a part. And in the ancient tradition, the, the soul of the world is called the anima mundi. And it is a spiritual being. But something very sad, very tragic has been happening to it. Creation itself is now calling to us, sending us signs of its imbalance. Those whose hearts are open may hear this cry, the cry of the spiritual being of our mother, the earth. Real sustainability is not just physical sustainability, it is spiritual sustainability. Because if the world is not spiritually sustainable, if it doesn't nourish our souls, then there is an emptiness here. Then there is a desolation here. There is no longer the, the joy that belongs to life. That will go, that will be just a passing memory. And the earth needs us to help it to reconnect with its own sacred source. Human beings are like the messengers from the gods. We can connect places together. We can connect the earth with its own sacred source with that spiritual energy in the core of creation. This is part of the spiritual, magical potential of human beings. We can connect things together. This, of course, has to do with the deep wisdom of the feminine that can reconnect, that can bring things together in a new way. This is no longer the patriarchal order imposed from above. This is no longer the hierarchical imposition of a pattern of how things ought to be. This is an organic relationship to life, not just physically, but spiritually. We hear the cry of the world and we respond to that cry. If we acknowledge our sacred role as guardians of the planet, we will see the power of our prayers, our capacity to reconnect the earth just as we have cut it off. And this is what is most important. If we really go into our heart, we bring something together. We are the connection. We are the connection between the creator and the creation. This is the special role of human beings which we have forgotten. <laughs>